Vampir is an action role-playing video game developed by Don't Not Entertainment and published by Focus Home Interactive. It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on 5 June 2018. The plot relates to how Jonathan Reed, a doctor who has turned into a vampire, comes to terms with his undead condition as he is torn between the Hippocratic Oath and his newfound bloodthirsty nature. While some boss battles are mandatory, most combat can be avoided, and the player is under no obligation to kill innocents to finish the game. Dialogue options are used for conversation and hunting prey to feed on, which replenishes strength and levels up the lead character. Weapons and supernatural abilities are employed while combating enemies. Set during the era of the Spanish flu, London serves as a fictionalized semi-open world composed of four districts, amenable to destruction based on the player's actions. Their choices also determine which of the four endings they receive. To gather an understanding of the background, the developers researched the setting by traveling to London and consulting history books and documentaries. The visuals were made with fictional and factual reference points in mind. Olivier Derivier composed the original score and infused it with industrial music. The game was met with mixed reviews from critics, who praised the primary game mechanic, setting, character development, and voice acting, but criticized the combat, overall narrative, technical problems, aspects of the choice-based system, and animations. Gameplay Vampire is an action role-playing game played from a third-person view. The player controls Jonathan E. Reed, a doctor who was made into a vampire, and whose thirst for blood compels him to kill innocent people. To do this successfully, he must gather information about his targets—study and change their habits, collect clues, and maintain relationships by communicating with the 60 citizens under his care in London, which serves as a fictionalized semi-open world built around hubs of neighborhoods tethered to other areas. A skill tree facilitates the improvement of abilities, which is fueled by experience points gained from blood and, alternatively, investigation. Feeding on human blood provides nourishment in addition to unlocking new vampiric powers. Abilities can be manually activated and passively upgraded. Active skills afford defensive, aggressive, healing, and tactical measures. Passive skills increase health, stamina, blood gauge and absorption, bite damage and regeneration, and carry capacity. If one so chooses, anyone can be targeted, bearing consequences that affect the citizens of London. It is possible to finish the game without killing citizens, which best preserves the character's cover as a doctor, but leaves him nearly incapable of leveling up. Killing no one unlocks one of four different endings. Reed can turn people into vampires, and is only able to enter a house with an invitation. Locals each have their different backgrounds, relationships, and daily routines. If killed, they impart their last thought to Reed. The mesmerize ability can control the behavior of weaker targets, like coercing them into revealing information, or guiding them to less conspicuous areas so as to feed without resorting to combat. With crafted medicine, Reed can heal injured or sick victims, whom, if eaten, will yield more experience points in the process. The rate of their affliction can be viewed using vampire senses, which also detect blood. Each of the four districts has a score based on the average health of its citizens. Reed navigates London using a waypoint with icons leading to a given destination, and collectible documents are scattered around the city for him to find. Reed can wield improvised melee weapons, such as a saw, as well as ranged weapons including the Webley revolver. Being able to use three hit combos, dodge rolls, and parrying, he can fight against other vampires like him—aristocrats who go by the name of Econ, sewer-dwelling vampires known as Skulls, the Volkod—a stronger breed of vampire resembling werewolves, Nemrod—vampires who hunt their own kind, and the Guard of Prewin—a secret society of vampire slayers. Boss fights are featured, and in some cases mandatory. Reed is adaptable to other vampire features, like the claws of a Volkod. Weapon improvement through crafting is made possible by looting items. While using vampiric powers in combat, the character's blood bar drains. This forces him to feed so he can immediately replenish his strength. With the vitality attained from killing a human being, he can boil the blood of his enemies, cast blood spears, throw mist bombs, and turn invisible. He uses his control of shadows to hide himself and strike at his opponents. He can use spring to scale locations otherwise out of reach and charge more rapidly across gaps, which is also useful for avoiding combat altogether. 
Once upgraded, it can do damage on impact and grant temporary invincibility. Plot Dr. Jonathan Reed, returning to London from the Great War in 1918, awakes in a mass grave as a vampire. Overwhelmed with bloodlust, he causes the death of his sister Mary, who is searching for his body nearby. Reed takes shelter from vampire hunters in an abandoned house and starts hearing the disembodied voice of his maker, a typical feature in the progeny of vampires. Realizing London is profuse with corpses, he follows a blood trail to a bar. The bartender points Reed to William Bishop, a suspicious patron. Bishop is caught feeding on a man named Sean Hampton and is killed by the vampire Lady Ashbury. Dr. Edgar Swansea rescues Hampton and hires Reed to practice medicine at Pembroke Hospital. After the room of patient Harriet Jones is found covered in blood and Hampton disappears, Reed tracks him down for questioning. Hampton insists he did not murder Jones and directs him to an underground haven for corrupted vampires known as Skulls, where it is revealed that Jones faked her death. Reed later discovers a corpse in the street bearing his mother's brooch. He pursues the perpetrator towards the cemetery in Whitechapel and finds his sister Mary with their mother Emmeline, realizing Mary was turned into a vampire the night he fed on her. Mary is intent on killing him to rid herself of his voice, but dies trying. Reed vows to uncover what is behind the skull epidemic, which he learns has been mistaken for the Spanish flu. Lady Ashbury invites Reed to the West End on behalf of the Ascalon Club, a secret society of highborn vampires. By the order of its leader Lord Redgrave, Reed roots out the source of skulls in the district. Swansea is later kidnapped and, once located, admits to attempting to heal Jones with Lady Ashbury's blood, thereby creating the skull epidemic. Once Ashbury finds out, she flees in shame. It is made known that the entity Merthyn, claimant to the role of Jonathan's maker, sired him to defeat his mother Morrigan, also known as the Red Queen, after she possessed Jones to wreak havoc upon London. Reed defeats Morrigan in battle, resolving then to travel after Lady Ashbury to her family castle, where she hid with her maker William Marshall, 1st Earl of Pembroke. <laughs> development. Development began with a team of 60 people, later expanded to around 80, many of whom worked on Don't Nod Entertainment's previous project Life is Strange. For a short time, the developer considered setting the game in 1950s America, but after narrative director Stefan Boverger joined the project, it was discarded to inspire a more gothic mood with focus on the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, set in London. The paintings of Phil Hale influenced the art style, also for the purpose of atmosphere. Don't Nod researched the setting by visiting London and taking photographs, but since the city had been largely rebuilt, history books and documentaries concerning Whitechapel, the London Docks, and the Isle of Dogs were also consulted. The literary sources Liquid History, The Thames Through Time and The Book of Facial Expressions, Babies to Teens provided geographical and anthropological insight, respectively, while the television series Casualty 1900s and The Nick were turned to for medical information. Anthony Howell was hired to voice Jonathan Reed. The characters and dialogue were scripted by two French writers and translated into English by two native speakers. Don't Nod decided on the British accent, though the marketing department wanted more. Events surrounding the period were studied using both factual and fictional reference points to create the visuals, realized with photorealistic lighting, and post processes running on the Unreal Engine 4. Motion capture was used to track character movement. In August 2016, the major obstacles in developing the Xbox One version had been overcome with the assurance that there would be no downgrades despite its hardware disadvantages. The game has only one save slot, a decision Don't Nod made for in-game choices to have real, meaningful impact. To avoid corrupted saves, they implemented backup systems, adhering to either Reed's Hippocratic Oath or Vampiric Nature intends to explore the dualism of his survival as both a doctor and vampire. Olivier Derivière served as the composer throughout development, infusing the score with industrial music to portray the solitude and inner struggle of the main character. Eric Maria Couturier played the cello, whose sounds were intended to go from «emotional» to «bestial». The bass flute, piano, double bass, and cymbalum chosen for how it reflected that period in London were also employed, each characterizing an aspect of the story. 
Derivière saw the choir as representing an oppressive influence on the main character, and thought its combination with industrial music was effective given the amount of post-processing. The soundtrack was released on 3 May 2018 on Bandcamp, and launched on all digital platforms the day the game came out. Vampire was released to manufacturing in May 2018. Release After a technical issue delayed it from its original November 2017 launch date, Vampire was rescheduled for Q1, Q2 2018. The final episode of a making of video series revealed that it would be released on 5 June for Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Those who pre-ordered the game gained access to bonus downloadable content called, The Hunter's Heirlooms which contained exclusive in-game cosmetics. If pre-ordered through select retailers in Europe and Australia, a phonograph record of the soundtrack was included. In May 2018, Don't Nod confirmed that Vampire would not be using Denuvo Anti-Tamper, a technology criticized for damaging computer performance. A launch trailer came out the following month, leading up to the release. Two new difficulties, Story and Hard Mode, launched on 26 September 2018. A Nintendo Switch version was announced as part of Focus Home Interactive's quarterly financial results. Reception Vampire received «mixed or average reviews», according to review aggregator Metacritic. Destructoid's Kevin Mercero enjoyed the dialogue conversations, atmosphere, and character development. Emma Schaefer of EGM declared Reed's dualism between Doctor and Vampire the title's greatest strength, while also praising the character development for imbuing, "...even the lowest beggar," with some importance. Matt Utley at Game Revolution enjoyed the atmosphere, each dick trick's distinct look, and aspects of the combat. Writing for GameSpot, Justin Clark was impressed with the effect of decisions and how this tied into the core gameplay, calling it, "...empowering." He also commended the, "...enthralling." characterizations, "'exquisite' setting, and "'captivating' voice acting. GamesRadar Plus' Leon Hurley, like Schaefer, found the mechanic of testing Reed's morality compelling, calling the characters well-realized and integral. Also approved of was the "'atmospheric Victorian London setting'." Brandon Tyrrell, writing for IGN, termed Vampire, "'a fresh and genuine take' on vampire mythology." He was generally satisfied with how choices turned out and said the recreation of London as a gloomy, somber city was bolstered by authentic characters, whose writing and performances he also enjoyed. Tyrrell welcomed the story and enjoyed the citizen mechanics, something Andy Kelly at PC Gamer also appreciated, hoping that more video games would follow suit. He called the dialogue driven storytelling, compelling, and the setting, atmospheric. Alice Bell of Videogamer.com wrote in her verdict, "...Vampire serves delicious ladles of angst and drama with a hearty slice of excellent, morally gray choice system that will genuinely surprise you, all wrapped up in a wonderfully gloomy London." Conversely, Mercero scolded the overall narrative for its "...threadbare," contribution. He called the combat, "...a low-grade Witcher knockoff," complaining about its lack of precision and "...sloppy," mechanics. Lengthy loading screens and constant hangings were also cited as a source of annoyance. Schaefer lambasted the animations for being a little wonky and the unpolished nature of the game. To Utley, Vampire failed to impress, in particular its character development and impact of choice. He also had technical problems, low resolution, choppy performance, and lengthy loading times. Already frustrated with the combat, Clark said frame rate drops and frequent loading screens worsened the experience. He found that the narrative became weaker in the final chapters. Hurley viewed the combat as functional at best, solid if uninventive, and chastised how small decisions led to big mistakes, which he felt forfeited responsibility for one's actions. Tyrrell cited lip syncing as a primary concern of the animation, criticized the lack of variety in combat, and experienced the same technical difficulties as Mercero, Utley, and Clark, albeit noting that they amounted to minor annoyances. Kelly disliked the dull, repetitive combat sequences and, despite noting a variety of fighting styles, saw this ultimately as a tiresome distraction. 
Agreeing with many others on the combat, Bell described it as continuously turning sour. Topic: <laughs> Sales and accolades. Focus Home Interactive stated that Vampire would be considered successful if it sold 1 million copies, although half would turn a profit. It debuted in the United Kingdom, Germany, and France as the best-selling video game across all formats, reaching second place on the Italian chart behind FIFA 18. Vampire sold 450,000 copies after one month of release, contributing to an increase of over 20% of its publisher's revenue for the first quarter of 2018. That October, the publisher cited Vampire as a key factor in the second quarter's €44.3 million Euros revenue. At E3 2017, Vampire received one of GamesRadar's Best of E3 awards and was nominated for GamesBeat's Unreal Underdog Award and Game Critics Award's Best RPG Award. Topic: Television adaptation. In August 2018, it was announced that the television production company Fox 21 Television Studios had optioned Vampire as a series, with Wonderland Sound and Vision and DJ2 Entertainment attached to the project. MCG, founder of Wonderland Sound and Vision, is set to direct and will serve as executive producer with Mary Viola, Corey Marsh, Dimitri Johnson, Stefan Bugage. <laughs> Notes <laughs>